by going there. So perhaps some of the hardest matchups you aren't seeing, or the hardest matchups you're seeing different ones of, maybe different times. But at the same time, you know, you're still running into these troubles, even if they are coming from different places. Okay. But getting into this Spanky versus T-Day, I believe this is on PS2. And you'll see a lot of interesting things come out from both players because, you know, you don't really see a Dr. Mario at all. And the way that Spanky plays, I feel, plays pretty, you know, straightforward, but, you know, he has his, his little flair. He really likes to go out, be very, very aggressive with Squirtle. Right after he gets that first forward tilt, he instantly goes for that dash grab like, you know, every other Squirtle. But right after that, he goes for tech chases usually and, you know, usually avoids going to Ivysaur instantly. There's that withdraw. Does cancel that up special. This time goes back. Going to be very, very sneaky at ledge with what he can get away with. Yeah, you should really watch out to that against Spanky in particular because he really likes to drop off up B if you're a little bit too close just to check you just because a lot of characters don't have a very fast option to really check um, stalling onto ledge. And I love that. Wow, He's dude. <laughs> That's sick. Just checking intentions with that ledge canceled up B. Saw that, or saw that tornado coming out and said, I'm going to wait through the entirety of this, then down air you after. Dude, oh, that, the that, that's sick. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure he wanted to up smash or forward smash uh, at the other side. But, you know, it happened so fast, it's kind of just like, oh, what happened? I'm just going to try to, you know, hit him. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, particularly Spanky's Ivysaur really likes to run up grab a lot or likes to sit down Razor Leaf because he really is good at hitting that Razor Leaf up B, uh, up B conversion. There's that narrow game. Going for that, but great conversion off the pill. Dude, pill up B. I, I love seeing it. It does so much damage. It looks so cool. It just kind of blasts the other person off. But instant Pokemon's change into the Nair from Ivysaur. Fantastic drop from Spanky. Sent down below to the bottom of the last zone. Second time again. But... It's all right. T-Day could definitely make this comeback if he could kill Squirtle really early or just play very clean neutral against Spanky and make him get over patient with, uh, no, sorry, impatient as Squirtle. He gets so much done. Down throw into nothing at the moment, but tries to read the with the rising back air. There's those four tilts going out instead of going for the grab. Spanky recognizing that right after he forward tilts, everybody's going to try to check him with the jab, but going for a back air. Day finds the grab and waits it out. Almost almost tech chases him super, super hard right there, there but falling up air coming back from Spanky. You can't really punish uh, those landings from Ivysaur too well. And over here, so all Spanky needs to do is play very, very safe. Fantastic forward smash just to get him off the side of the stage. Really great reading him. The player's best the back in tort. Miss right tech. Now. Ooh, baby. Yeah, and instant Pokemon stage. I think what what's getting T-Day right now is such the fast Pokemon switches. Is how fast, uh, A, the fast Pokemon switches and how fast Spanky is playing. Spanky isn't playing extremely, extremely fast, like super API, like Ness, PSI, Magnet, Fire, Cancel on the ledge. He's playing very slow at first, dashing back and forth, but right when he sees an opening, that's when he instant Pokemon change, tether, cancel, down air, weird stuff. And it's like, wait a minute, you were just playing super slow literally half a second ago and then you could put out that much move in like half a second yeah but there is that misconception that players that play slow don't play on the fly they play with setups they play with things scouted in advance and if they don't go oh, oh well they have to abandon everything spanky is someone who can still adapt to situations as they come even if he isn't throwing out moves every second mm -hmm. but yeah that's the really big thing of super smash bros ultimate is rhythm if you could keep your rhythm extremely inconsistent and hard to follow, then you will you will be really, really good against a lot of people. Recognizing that every single time that he gets forward tilted, Dr. Mario will jab, so, you know, obviously go for the aerials. Yeah, Spanky, as you mentioned, doing a great job of switching up the tempo, but T-Day himself still doing a good job of controlling that grounded space. It's just really hard in this matchup just because Dr. Mario has to be the one counter hitting all the time. He can't really go in against Ivysaur or Squirtle just because he has worse boxing and worse frame data. Because right after Spanky does come down with the back air or any type of safe aerial, all that Dr. Mario could do is, you know, up you out of shield. Tornado again. Ooh, and just super, super cheeky at ledge. That's classic Spanky. 
But you see t -Day over here really controlling the center stage with pills, but up B's to try to check him to try to read a roll in or a roll away, I mean. Well, he does kill early, but not quite that early, and up smash won't cover the platform. Yeah, I'm pretty sure t -Day was trying to read Spanky going through the platform because he's like, oh yeah, no he's going to do that, but Spanky opting to go for the platform and getting a really good up smash kill off of T-Day. But Spanky is still very much at kill percent. That down B does so much damage. Uh, and Edgeguard with the down B could do it again too. Yeah, but here's where we see, and as soon as he has that Ivysaur out, has switched to Charizard, so the game plan's a bit different. But when he does have Ivysaur out, the fact that back air is a multi-hit, whenever a pill is out, hit one of the back air can just get rid of the pill. Hit two can still do the damage. I really like T-Day's movement right over there to just wait and follow Charizard before, uh, right after he hit a move. And you can kind of see over here Spanky with the fantastic conversion, 42%, instantly changes the Ivysaur. And now we see T-Day on the aggressive side now. Two frame does get on. You have to be really careful on the ledge against Spanky just because you could really punish that, that up. You just sit there, wait for center stage, and you can see Spanky right over there trying to catch him as deep as possible. He's been laughing how to get hits off off stage like that and gets people really off guard and fantastic down air just to get him off, take that stock too. Good mix up with the air dodge from T-Day though. Gets him out of trouble on that up smash very nearly getting the kill. I don't know, that up smash trajectory, up smash is really strong in Dr. Mario. It just sends out the worst trajectory, man. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, you'll go all the way over to this corner where the person will probably live. Same thing with that down B, but at the at the ledge, you know, it's rising it's really good. But yeah, you can see that. Spanky really likes to go for that ledge up B. That's just free damage. Why not go for it if your opponent keeps getting hit by it? Sure, particularly if you're in the lead. Oh, but you can see the spacing over there. Spanky really trying to go in. He needs to really recognize that, okay, T-Day doesn't want to go in anymore. He keeps losing every single time he goes in. So, ooh, oh. he tries to go for that, you know, side B, trying to catch him, dashing in, trying to jump or do anything, trying to pill. But at the same time, Spanky really needs to play a lot more slowly. Good show of patience from T-Day, knowing that what is and isn't punishable on shield. And you can see right after that, if Spanky tries to go in, he's gonna get destroyed by Dr. Mario. You look at all this combo, look at all this look at all this damage coming up from stray hits. Reach the roll as well. Not quite gonna get the kill. Charizard, of course, very heavy. Oh, just almost gets him with the upbeat. Fantastic air dodge coming out from Spanky. Wave that uh air dodge is back onto stage. But Tide is super, super good keeping center stage. Oh, oh, that was a miss in play. That was supposed to be a back air or back throw. I feel like that was the right Ooh. idea. There's the up air, so no harm done. But T-Day, that could have been disastrous because you saw he had the game right in his hand right there. Miss input. You know, second lease on life for Spanky, but gets the job done seconds after. You could see right over there, right after Spanky used that side B, he always wanted to try to go in. He always wanted to try to go in again. And in my opinion, after you, after you go for that type of option, you should lay off on being aggressive at all at that point. They are prepared and always knowing that, oh yeah, you're really frustrated because you just missed this kill option on me and that and you tried to read me, right? So Spanky always tried to go in. He kept getting hit by resets. He got hit by down throw up airs a lot and they weren't they weren't damaging combos. They were just, okay, I will keep resetting, I'll keep resetting. Oh, you keep coming down with the Nair at the ledge, I'll I'll back I'll, I'll backdash and come up and hit you. Oh, you keep rolling in, I'll keep, you know, down being you or forward tilting you, you know? And of course there's that worry again, is, you know, I just grabbed him, I just up threw him. Oh no, I just gave away my intention. You know, how am I ever gonna get this back throw again? He found another kill option. He didn't go for that same, you know, plug away, hopefully I'll get it eventually. He kept things, you know, different, he mixed it up. Mm -hmm. But new game, new players basically. And we're on Final Destination. Great counter hit coming out from T-Day, and this is going to be a lot of damage. Four, 53% getting that full, uh, getting that full up B combo. Back there, hunting through. Ivysaur staying grounded that time, sneaking underneath for the up air. Ooh, he was just waiting because he knew that he wasn't going to die from that instant up air at the very top. So he was just waiting, waiting to see whether he's going to pull the trigger. Forward smash calling him out though, dude. 
outspaces that landing option from Squirtle, but doesn't find the grab afterwards. Yeah, that's that's the thing. So T-Day was playing really slowly on PS2 because he had the space, but in Final Destination, you don't have any, you don't have anywhere to run. You don't have anywhere to go. You don't have anywhere any space to pill. Oh, almost getting that, uh, almost getting that up air off. But both players play fantastic neutral again. None of those hits of near connecting, but thank you. Will find his way back again. He raises a double jump. He should get it. Yeah, he d still doesn't have a double jump. Just go out there and down air. Oh, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Back though. This time, T-Day does have a jump, so has a bit more luxury to get back. Ooh, it's it's so hard. Oh, wow, just beating out that down B. Usually every other character would get sucked up in that and just die at 80%. Oh, both players going up and grabbing. Oh, it just tries to read him. Looking for the grab. Yep, does up. find the grab. Yep. Fantastic job from Spanky so far. Up three stocks to one, but T-Day is definitely not... Uh, not out of this yet. He's actually played with Ocean a lot back in uh, back in SD, I believe. Which that grab attempt, though, that's the opportunity that T-Day needs only gets 9%. Uppy out of shield, doing so much knockback, but again, Ivysaur is still living. Uppy again, he just needs a lot more of those. Spanky opting for the uh, for the Squirtle, but that's that's the indication that you know that Spanky really wants to go in and play a lot more aggressive. Ivysaur, a lot more spacing, a lot more, you know, Aerial oriented. Yeah, a stock on the half and the lead right now. Spanky just has so much free reign to go for almost whatever he wants. You can see Spanky really trying to space out with forward airs for uh, with backers especially, and he does not want a repeat of last game. He doesn't want to change a Charizard, try to get the early kill, even though you know the game will end. Punishing that air dodge. Oh, tries to read the roll, uh, the roll behind, but T Day. Opting to go for the regular getup. Just a bit too late. Does get that landing back air of the mix up Ooh, as well. Dude, that was so cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that could have killed Ivysaur too. But this this looks very reminiscent of last game, but Uppies recognizes that he wanted to go for a back air or some type of Uppie conversion. And just said, you know what? Get off me. I still have a whole like a whole extra stock to play with. Yeah, crucially.